Speed index is simply a measure of how long it takes for users to see your content in full. This is not a measure of overall page speed. That takes into account when the browser renders all elements, including non-visible scripts and elements that affect performance. However, if you want a good gauge of when your users perceive the page to be fully loaded, SI is the metric to watch. How to measure speed index. As usual, we'll use the page speed insights. In this example, the speed for many of these metrics are in the green. However, the speed index is four seconds. That's a long time for the user to wait to see everything above the fold. Zero to 3.4 seconds is considered good. 3.4 to 5.8 seconds is moderate, and over 5.8 seconds is slow. PageSpeed Insights is very critical in its measurements. If you're in the orange or red, you might wanna check other tools to see if they share similar results. How to optimize your speed index score. Reduce render blocking resources. These scripts and code prevent other parts of your website from loading by taking precedence. Instead of the site loading different elements concurrently, some elements pause all others until they're finished and that lowers your site's speed index. To get around this, you could defer any number of scripts and bits of code that load until after the visible elements have painted to the DOM. Identifying the culprits is easy, as you can use the Chrome Dev Tools to take a look at your site as it loads, and the tool will indicate what is halting elements from rendering. Additionally, WordPress users can use a caching plugin such as W3 Total Cache or WP Rocket to handle this. Often these plugins have a simple toggle to defer render blocking resources. Divi users too have a major advantage for blocking such resources as the theme options allows you to toggle render blocking CSS deferral as well as jQuery scripts. On top of that, the theme's critical CSS features break up large chunks of code that can delay your site's content and cause them to load much more quickly than they otherwise would. While some of these are toggles, Divi automatically enables others. Reducing your site's main thread work. Like render blocking resources, you can bottleneck the performance of your site by loading different elements that take up a lot of processing power from your server. The simplest solution for this is to stop using so much JavaScript. GT Metrics puts it best. In general, the more JavaScript your page has, the longer the parse and compile process, resulting in a longer wait for users to view content and interact with your page. We recognize this might not be easy. You have designed the site to function in a certain way. However, there might be unused code that you can remove and you might be able to optimize any third-party JavaScript you're loading into your site. Also, you can minify your JavaScript. On top of that JS audit, make sure that you minify your CSS and HTML. This will alleviate even more main thread strain. Caching and optimization plugins often have these options too. Divi users once again have a leg up here as the theme automatically minifies and splits CSS and JavaScript into bite-sized chunks for faster throughput, eliminating the need for tons of focus from your main thread. For more information on speed index, including frequently asked questions, check out our blog post linked in the description. Additionally, be sure to check out our videos all about FCP, LCP, FID, CLS, plus TTFB, and how to optimize your scores for those. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and be sure to subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.